We all have things we have to do and places we have to be. But can we do that in a really creative, simple way? Most of us have a to-do list and a calendar, uh, whether it's a paper to-do list and a paper calendar, or like this, a digital to-do list and a digital calendar. Now, artists and creative people, of which we all are, value simplicity. Uh, you know, Steve Jobs made a phone with one button on the front, right? Very simple, very elegant. Now, can we be organized in a simple, elegant way? Of course we can. And one way to do that is to combine our to-do list and our calendar. And that's what I'm going to demonstrate, how to do that. And uh, it's relatively simple, actually. I'm going to use uh, iCal, but it'll work with any calendar at all, digital or paper. Uh, and the key is to have two colors on your calendar. Anything that you see that's green is a to-do list. Anything that's blue is an appointment or a place I need to be. So let's say right here on this day, right? It's blue. I have a graduate school class on that day. I also have a lecture to go to. The following day I have a, a conference. It's blue. Now, to-do items are in green. So here's a, a, a to-do list that talks about keyboards. Here's one that says I have to give a camera to Mr. B, and so on and so forth. So blue uh, appointment, green uh, to-do. Now, you might ask yourself, self, how do I prioritize my to-do items? Well, it's pretty simple. So here's today. If it's a high priority item that I have to do today, I put it on today. So today, I have to make a dentist appointment. Going back to my uh, graduate school class, I have to do homework on the day before it because uh, well, I procrastinate that way. So, so again, I'm putting the to-do item on the day I have to do it. So that's how you submit high priority to-do items. Now, what about medium priority items, items that have to be done, eh, you know, sometime this week, sometime this month. What do you do with those? Now, those I put on the weekend, on Saturday and on Sunday. So on the Sunday, I put, you know, flu shot, right? I don't have to do that on that day. I just have to do it eventually. Long-term items, like a bucket list type thing, you've got a few choices. Um, you could, you know, put them, like, say, on the last day of the month. Um, I have quite a few items, so I, I just make a totally separate document for my sort of things that I, I'll do in a year or two or whatever. So you have some choices with that. But that's pretty much it. That's uh, one way uh, to do it. Now, uh, there's a few caveats to this method. And one is, as you see, even on my busiest day, I only have about 10 or 11 uh, things to do or places to be. If you're super crazy, you know, executive and you have, you know, a million appointments and a million to-do items on a given day, this it's just too much for, uh, you know, a month view. This method is probably not going to work for you. Also, every month it's kind of a pain, right? Because, you know, all these medium priority items may not get done. So, uh, come October, I have to take all my September to-dos and cut them and move them forward to October. And that's a little tedious, right? Especially because, you know, thanks Steve Jobs, uh, uh, shift click doesn't work here. So I actually have to command click all these things. It's kind of annoying. And then cut them and then paste them here. You know, but that's really not that big of a deal. It takes about a minute every month. Not a big deal. So that's really it. Um, that's how you combine your to-do list and your calendar in a simple, elegant way. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That's it. Deuces.